The Indian Space Research Organizations will bring 2024 to a close with a mission that is very critical towards achieving several future goals when it comes to India's space ambitions, bringing back a lunar sample, setting up a space station, or even sending a human being to the moon. Now, on Monday, which is today, ISRO will demonstrate for the first time its ability to bring together and join two satellites in space. This is the SpaceX or the Space Docking Experiment mission that will be launched launched today at 10 p.m. at ISRO's workhorse PSLV rocket lifts off from the first launch pad of the Sri Harikota spaceport. Now, the fourth stage of the launch vehicle will be used later as a platform to carry out other experiments, including several by startups. What is this experiment all about? What is space docking? Why is uh, uh, this demonstration critical for the working of the IS ISRO's, uh, ISRO's other ambitious, ambitious projects? And also, is this setting the stage for Chandrayaan 4? Uh, I have uh, uh, our science editor, uh, Pallav Bhagla, with me, and also Ajay Lele. Ajay Lele is uh, uh, Deputy Director General, MP IDSA. Thank you both of you for joining me on this broadcast. Pallav, to you first, sir. Tell us all that you know about this particular experiment. Why is it so critical for India's space ambitions? What is space docking? And are we getting ready for uh, Chandrayaan 4? Well, your question will require 24 hours to answer that, Vasudha. It, it's one of the most crucial experiments being done by ISRO in a very long time. Uh, everything about this launch is innovation. From the making of the rocket, to the space docking experiment, to the 24 experiments being done by startups and the uh, academic institutions, Everything about this particular launch is all about innovation, which is what ISRO is known for. A space docking is a very critical technology which India has going to master. Uh, till date, only Russia, America, and China have independently mastered space docking. Uh, India wants to master it because in the next stage for Chandrayaan 4, India will need it then to make the Bharatiya Antrik station as Prime Minister Narendra Modi wants by 2035, we need to have that. And also if we have to spend, send humans to the moon, we need to have space docking experience. Uh, it's a very critical test. Uh, ISRO has been preparing this for more than a decade. Uh, finally, it is coming to a culmination. Today, the launch will happen uh, from Sri Harikota, but the docking itself may happen sometime early next year. Uh, two satellites will be sent into space, both when they are traveling at about 10 times the speed of a bullet, would be brought together, docked and undocked. Very critical mating being done in space and a very complex technology. ISRO trying to master something which only a select few nations have been able to do. Right. Uh, Dr. Lele, uh, my question to you, sir, there's a lot of talk about the technology that uh, ISRO has used in this, and there's a lot of talk about how this is entirely Swadeshi indigenous technology. In fact, ISRO, what we understand from what uh, Dr. Somanathan told uh, uh, Palab is also the fact that ISRO has even patented its unique uh, docking uh, mechanism, which seems to be a scaled-down version uh, that's in some ways designed uh, uh, to fit uh, the current mission's ob objectives. Tell us about the mechanism and also, uh, you know, the kind of work that uh, could have gone into this, uh, making it completely indigenous. Uh, I think this is a very unique technology. The most important aspect why we are patented is that because this technology is never shared by the big people also. So there are other three countries who are having uh, know-how of this technology, but this technology is not being shared by anybody. So this is a totally indigenous technology which has been developed. And for many years, as it was told, that more than ten, a decade, uh, ISRO is trying to master this technology. So obviously, this technology has got a significance for various other missions which ISRO is planning. Uh, Chandrayaan-4 is the immediate mission for which this technology will be used. Because Chandrayaan is going to be a very big project, and you can't launch the entire module of the Chandrayaan-4 mission in one launch. That's why ISRO is planning to do a step-by-step -step launching. So two to three different launches will happen. And subsequently, the technology uh, will be used for mating all those systems out into the space. And then the mission will progress towards the uh, moon as a ISRO's fourth mission, because this is going to be the sample return mission. Then subsequently, we want to establish our own space station also. So we have to start 
uh, first using this technology, uh, a robotic technology in a sense, and subsequently for transfer of humans, because as you have seen on International Space Station, when the spacecraft gets docked, the humans are getting transferred from the spacecraft to the space station. And those people who are getting back to the space uh, from space to the Earth, they also get back to the rocket. So this is slightly a more complicated technology. These technologies are usually happening in an elliptical orbit. Today, what we are going to test is in a circular orb uh, orbit. So these are the first steps as far as mastering this technology. But these are very critical steps for various other missions which ITRO is planning to undertake. And uh, on 18th of September, Government of India has cleared four major projects for ISRO. So in those projects, other than the Venus mission, for rest three projects, this technology is very critical. Right. Uh, also, uh, Pallav Pagla, I like this, uh, uh, you know, response that Dr. Somanathan gave in, in your interview where he said that uh, India is not just launching satellites into space now, but is also looking at uh, very complex space operations. Uh, uh, can you also help our viewers understand what are the challenges when it comes to getting the precision right in terms of space uh, as far as uh, this space docking experiment is concerned? Well, the precision required is very, very high at about 400 and plus kilometer in orbit, when the satellites are traveling at 10 times the speed of bullet, they have to be brought together. And like Dr. Sankaran, the, the director of the URR Satellite Center told me, it is like coupling a railway engine with another bogey while it is traveling at 10 times the speed of a bullet. It's a very complex process. And nobody shares this technology. Yes, the international docking standard is available in public domain, but like Dr. Ajay Lele said, uh, nobody shares this technology, so you have to master it on your own. Uh, but this mission is more than just space docking. Uh, for the first time, uh, on the smaller experiments, India is going to carry forward three live biology experiments. Uh, India has never carried live organisms into space. On this launch, there are three experiments. One which will look at germination of cowpea seeds. The other is looking at spinach or palak uh, cells. And the third is growing gut bacteria. Uh, India entering another domain of astrobiology through this polar satellite launch vehicle. Uh, like I said, this is all about innovation. Every aspect of this is of innovation. Uh, space docking is just one. Uh, ISRO packing in more than what can be uh, accomplished in one mission by giving India the best. Right. Uh, uh, Dr. Lele, also help us understand uh, how is this a stepping stone or in some, in some way setting the stage for India's future uh, uh, space uh, projects, including um, space explorations or for that matter, even Chandrayaan-4 or like Pallav also pointed out, uh, setting up a space uh, station. How is this particular experiment so critical for our future ambitions? You see, as it was told by uh, Mr. Pallav, uh, that there are two aspects of this. One is a docking aspect. And other is that the fourth stage of a rocket, uh, the rocket will be firing both the satellites at an altitude of roughly 476 kilometers. And then the fourth stage of a rocket will be brought down to around 350 kilometers. And there are 24 sensors or 24 uh, modules which are there on this. Uh, there are 14 sensors by ISRO, the 14 payloads, and there are 10 payloads by the academic institutions. Uh, as far as ISRO's payloads are concerned, beyond astrobiology, they are trying to look at the payloads which will help them to understand the robotic arms because robotic arm is a very important system which is required to be developed for the space station. Otherwise also now the future is going to be where space docking is going to take place at one place. Otherwise the satellite servicing is going to happen in the future. So you require the robotic technologies to be developed for that purpose. So one of the experiment which will be carried out on the fourth stage is about the robotic arm technology and this particular technology, when we master it, it's going to be of a tremendous utility in future. Because today, the satellites go duff when their batteries or one can say the power source gets over. But the future is going to be the refueling of the satellites. For that purpose, you require these technologies. So it's not only the space station or the Chandrayaan-4 mission. Uh, there are various futuristic projects which is going to depend on the success of this mission. 
Mr. Lele, thank you, Palab Bagla, for joining us with those very critical details. It's Rose 2024 sign-off mission today, a very critical project, uh, an experiment that is important uh, for India's futuristic uh, space ambitions. ISRO will also, ISRO will be attempting uh, space docking today, which will also put India in that big league of uh, other countries which have attempted and successfully implemented it. Scientists, meanwhile, also offered prayers at Tirupati today. They visited Venkateshwara Temple in the lead-up uh, to this experiment that is about to start at night today at 10 p.m.